What is up you guys, welcome back to another one. If you're new to the channel, I'm Gold Pony. I do new car truck SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the brand new 2023 Genesis GV80, courtesy of Genesis of York in York, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so we are in this one today because first thing I saw when I got in this was a crazy looking 3D digital gauge cluster. So I'll be showing that to you guys in a little bit here. Not only that, this is a very good looking SUV. You got America's best warranty as well, being five years, 60,000 mile, bumper to bumper, 10 years, 100,000 miles on the powertrain. You get three years or 36,000 miles of complimentary maintenance as well. You get three years of free Sirius XM radio. I could go on and on, I feel like, but ultimately in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing it so pricing will start at fifty five thousand five hundred and fifty dollars that's going to be for the 2.5 t inline four cylinder all-wheel drive but it goes up quite high, I will say that. So I'm just gonna put the prices on the screen here for you guys, instead of rambling them off this time. But with all of those trim levels available, there are actually two different power plants available for the GV80. First one being a 2.5 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder than the one we have today, putting out 300 horsepower at 5,800 RPM, 311 pound-feet of torque coming in at right around 1,600 RPM. Power sent to all four wheels through an eight-speed automatic with paddle shifters, which we will test out here in a little bit. Zero to 60 time is going to come in at approximately 6.4 seconds with mpg numbers coming in at 20 in the city 24 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel but so then there is the other engine configuration the more powerful one that one is powered by a 3.5 liter twin turbo v6 375 horsepower at 5800 rpm 391 pound feet of torque coming in at 1300 rpm power sent to all four wheels once again through an eight-speed automatic with paddle shifter zero to 60 time approximately six seconds flat with MPG numbers for that one coming in at 18 in the city, 23 on the highway, taking premium unleaded fuel. So that before we do any kind of fun paddle shifter or acceleration test here in the GV80, I wanted to mention to you guys the drive modes. So there's a circular dial located just behind the cup holders. Drive modes are going to include snow, eco, comfort, sport, and custom, adjusting things like the shift points, a throttle response, steering sensitivity, the suspension settings, and the gauge cluster as well. Dang, I love this gauge cluster. It looks absolutely insane. It's 3D, but anyways, now that we got all of that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and find a straightaway. Let's put the paddle shifters here to the test and let's see how quickly these things are going to react for us here. All right, here we go. <laughs> RPMs are backwards. They're okay. Honestly, they're not bad. It, slight bit of delay, not the quickest I've ever tested, but I'm glad they're there nonetheless because what they're there for is like when we're going down a hill right now, if it were to be snowing outside, I can actually use the paddle shifters to downshift, do a little bit of engine braking so I don't actually have to hit the brakes as much. So you're less likely to slide off the road when it's slippery out. So I do like the paddle scissors for that particular reason, but having said that, there's a slight delay to them, I'm just being honest. But anyways, have I got that out of the way? Let's now give full control back to the GV80 here. Let's put the acceleration to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2023 Genesis GV80 here up to speed. All right, you guys, we are in sport driving mode right now. A little bit of a rolling start, of course. Go, baby. Whoa, all right. What? Oh my gosh, that sound. Okay, you can tell that sound is being pumped into the cabin, which I don't mind. It's kind of a cool thing. So it's kind of artificial sounding though. I will say that. So you can definitely tell it's artificially being pumped into the cabin, but it's pretty cool. It kind of sounds like a race car. And as far as acceleration goes, plenty of an acceleration to merge you onto the highway or anything like that. Not going to have any issues there. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 14.2 inch ventilated front disc for the 2.5 liter and then 14.9 inch ventilated front disc for the 3.5 liters. So slight difference there, but regardless, rear rotors are gonna be the same coming in at 14.2 inch solid rear disc. As far as 60 to zero stopping distance goes, obviously it's going to differ because the brake sizes are different. So 117 feet, which is insanely impressive. That sports it in good for the 2.5 liter. That's brilliant. And then 112 feet 
for the 3.5 liter. So I'm telling you guys, that is an incredible 60 to zero stopping distance for both of them. Like I said, even in the 2.5 liter that we have today, 60 to zero and 117 feet is sports today and good. A lot of times with SUVs, you will get 130s or 139 feet and the braking feel feels great. It's honestly just right. It's not a super firm braking feel and it's definitely not a loose braking feel either or soft braking feel, I should say. So honestly, braking feels 100% on point as we pull up to a red light here in our GV80. Then touching on suspension and handling, independent front and rear suspension of course front and rear stabilizer bars electronic limited slip differential which essentially sends torque to the rear wheel with the most traction so that's going to help with slippery surfaces and actually handling a little bit there as well and there is also an electronically controlled adaptive suspension that comes on the gv80 as well so essentially a camera system scans the road for any road imperfections to kind of give you a smoother ride there so that is pretty cool and speaking of as far as ride quality goes it has been perfectly fine I'm actually going to put it back in comfort driving mode because again the suspension settings are just to depend upon the drive mode that you put it in and honestly my short test drive here today definitely no issues with the ride quality it's 100% on point there as far as steering feel goes again it's going to adjust dependent upon the drive mode that you put it in so if you like a heavier steering feel you have that option that is me personally so there is that custom driving mode as well which I personally use on my Hyundai Sonata where you can make the steering feel a little bit heavier but not get that instant acceleration if you don't want that all the time so that's what i personally do most of the time so that's there for you as well as far as cabin noise goes 100 on point without a doubt and that's due in part because there's an active noise cancellation system which kind of counters the sound waves to give you a very serene cabin as we are currently driving right now there isn't a whole lot of exterior road noise or wind noise coming into the cabin there and touching on visibility, I can see perfectly fine out the back. Not going to have any issues with rear visibility. Rain sensing windshield wipers do come standard as well. And a head up display comes standard. So right now I am looking at my speed, speed limit and safety information displayed up on the windshield. So I have better forward visibility therefore as well. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of a brand new 2023 Genesis GV80. All right, so here she is, you guys. The new 2023 Genesis GV80 finished in Himalayan gray, a $575 paint option if you like this color and wanted to go that route. But let's go ahead and start up front on the GV80 here. That large shield aluminum front grille kind of replicates the Genesis logo, the middle portion of the Genesis logo, I should say, but definitely looks very good nonetheless. You know what's interesting? Back in the day, they used to put the adaptive cruise control sensor that is now down below there, kind of incorporated into that front grille. Maybe I'm thinking of the G80, I don't know, but now it is down below there. So that is what that little rectangular box is down below in that lower grille is the adaptive of cruise control sensor front air curtains to the sides there helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination of course to the sides also quad beam led headlights with led daytime running lights and the automatic feature meaning when it starts to get dark in at night those headlights will turn on automatically for you there you also get though automatic headlights meaning when you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams then when that vehicle is gone it's going to automatically bump back up to high beams so very nice convenience feature there as well so overall when it comes to the front end i've seen so many people call this a bentley because it does look strikingly like a bentley which is a very good thing very nice look to it so Anyways, that pretty much rounds out the front end. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side. All right, so but now since we are around to the side of this one, let's start all the way to the top. Silver roof rails do come standard. Chrome window surrounds also coming standard. Rear privacy glass, of course, as well. There is some chrome slats found on that front fender. And the cool thing about that is their LED bars kind of incorporated into them. So they will serve as this turn signals indicator. So when you actually turn on your turn signals, rather than having those indicators found in the side mirrors, they're actually gonna be found incorporated into those front fenders so it definitely very nice look my personal opinion i actually love that look because usually in all other suvs are in the side mirror so love the differentiation there for the gv80 speaking of body color power adjustable side mirrors do come standard they are heated and power folding then as well also like the look of the chrome accenting found kind of just above the side skirts down below there also body colored side skirts i would expect it to be at this price point so very high in look there as well there's so many suvs that use matte 
black side skirts, which I'm definitely not a big fan of. But anyways, take a look down at the wheel setup. 19 inch alloys do come standard, but you can get 20 inch alloys for the 3.5 V6 all wheel drive. I can't talk today. And advanced plus trim levels as well. And then 22 inch alloys for the prestige, which is what you guys are currently looking at right now. So very nice look to the wheels, but overall, very nice look to the whole side profile here in my personal opinion but pretty much rounds out the side let's now go ahead and make our way to the back of the gv80 all right so but now since we are around to the back of this one all the way to the top you will find a body colored shark fin antenna just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light just below that rear window wiper of course you have the genesis lettering spelled out horizontally that always looks good as well twin bar there led tail lights absolutely love the look of that kind of emulating the front headlights there one of the coolest things though if we head down all the way to the bottom here you will find integrated dual exhaust outlets yes they're integrated into that rear bumper i've always liked that look with dual trapezoidal tips finished in chrome so very nice look to it but anyways having said that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip <laughs> All right, so but now since we are around to the back of the GV80, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is a hands-free power tailgate for all trim levels across the board, meaning all you need to do is simply walk up behind it, kick your foot underneath, and it is going to automatically open up for you though. But the coolest way to go ahead and open that rear tailgate is actually going to be the hidden button incorporated into that rear window wiper. Not many vehicles do it this way. There's usually a little rubberized button on the actual tailgate itself, but with the GV80 and actually GV70 as well, it's incorporated into the rear window wiper and I absolutely love that. But anyways, once opened up, I will say the GV80 is available in either a three row or two row configuration. We have the two row today, but if you were to have that three row behind that third row, it comes in at 11.6 cubic feet. And by the way, that third row is only available with the advanced plus package if you were interested. Behind the second row, 34.9 cubic feet. And then with all rows folded and even 84 cubic feet. So pretty much right on par for the course in terms of cargo capacity. Do want to also mention though in the cargo area there are cargo tie down anchors there are grocery bag hooks there is led cargo lighting with a very cool design a diamond pattern design to the actual led light housings as well so Attention to detail, definitely on point here. 12 volt power outlet back there, cargo cover as well. And if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you will find some in-floor storage underneath there as well. And so making then our way to the rear legroom, if you get the third row that comes in at 30.3 inches, which quite honestly is a little bit cramped. But anyways, second row legroom like we have today comes in at 38.7 inches. So for reference, I am an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had in that second row there. So plenty of space for me. Tri-zone climate control coming with the prestige trim levels, meaning rear passengers can set their own temperature as well. Rear window sunshades come standard for every single trim level across the board. Gotta love that. Heated second row seats are available with the prestige trim levels. Front seat bat map pockets, of course, coming standard. Dual USB charging ports back there, but there's actually also a 115 volt power outlet back there. That's something you typically don't see in SUV, so I wanted to emphasize that. And of course, you do have a rear center armrest with cup holders, but there's actually a little section for maybe a tablet holder within that center armrest as well at least a little extra storage there i will say that but now let's go ahead and make our way to the front seats leatherette seating coming standard full leather seating with any of the package options whether it be advanced or prestige 12-way power adjustable front seats for the base and advanced trim levels 16 inch power driver's seat for the prestige smart posture seating coming with all trim levels across the board we can simply type in kind of your body measurements and it gives you that best possible seating configuration there. Heated and ventilated seats coming for all trim levels. There is an Ergo Motion seat that comes with the Prestige packages, which essentially gives you adaptive side bolsters dependent upon your steering angle. It tightens up the side bolsters on one side or another, kind of like the Mercedes G-Wagon does. So it's a pretty cool feature there. Memory settings come standard as well. And overall seating was 100% on point. Plenty comfortable for a long road trip in this thing. Then make our way to the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is left Leather wrapped and you got some thick 10 to 2 grips kind of like BMW so definitely a fan of that as well and of course steering wheel is heated for every single trim level across the board so gotta love that we make our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here you do have your Genesis logo on the one side and a plethora of buttons on the other side including a remote start coming standard and 
Smart Pack coming standard for all trim levels across the board as well. So if you're in a tight parking spot, if somebody parks a little too close to you, as long as you start the vehicle up when it's locked with the remote start, and then you can press this button, it'll actually pull out or back out the vehicle for you without you having to get in it first. You can very easily get into the SUV. This is a feature I absolutely love. I believe that Hyundai started this with the Sonata and that kind of branched in to the Genesis product. So I absolutely love that. And of course you get a digital key. So if your key fob were to fail or run out of batteries, you've got the digital key on your smartphone as backup. I've used that before, it's definitely helpful. And keyless entry with the push button starts. So all I'm going to do now is simply put my phone on the brake and press that engine start button, which has a very nice design to it as well. But then once started up gauges, there's gonna be two different gauge clusters. There's the eight inch digital screen. So it's a partial digital gauge cluster for all trim levels, but the prestige trims. But if you were to go with one of those prestige trims, you will get a 12.3 inch 3D digital gauge cluster. This looks like nothing else on the road. It blows my mind every time I see it. It truly is 3D. It's like going to the movie theater and putting on those glasses, but you don't have to wear those silly glasses. And it just different sections of the gauges pop out at you. It looks absolutely amazing. And of course the gauge colors and readouts adjust dependent upon the drive mode as well. And of course you got the blind spot view monitor up there as well. So Gauges, I don't think you can beat these gauges out there right now. These may be my very favorite gauges in existence right now, maybe with the exception of 3D digital gauges on Mercedes as well. They do have a 3D gauge cluster as well. So both of those are tied in my opinion. So then make our way to overall interior quality. There is a panoramic sunroof for all trim levels across the board, overhead sunglass holder, LED interior lighting, home link controls, wood trim with a matte finish. All of this stuff comes standard by the way, in case I didn't say that already. 64 colors of ambient lighting that's very nice duals and climate control also standard love the texturized finishes in this thing the contrast stitching the wireless phone charger still all standard and you get dual cup holders with texturized silver surrounds gotta love that and within the center armrest a decent amount of storage with this nice kind of felt finish to it as well so when it comes to interior quality everything essentially comes standard and it looks absolutely amazing very luxurious interior quality without a doubt there's a suede headliner available for the 3.5 prestige this thing has everything you could possibly think of just about for the interior quality but now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen 14.5 inch color touchscreen display yes that is a massive screen and it is touchscreen it's a little bit of a reach for the touchscreen i'll say that so there is a circular dial and buttons if you would rather use that and it is actually voice activated then as well bluetooth and audio streaming do come standard android auto apple carplay factory navigation system you can check out your climate control settings up there you can adjust the color of the ambient lighting up there there is a quiet mode where they eliminates the speakers in the rear seats and limits the speaker volume in the front seat so it lets your kids sleep maybe if they're asleep in the back seat on a long road trip possibly there is a voice memo system if you wanted to record your voice and then play it back at a later date of course, you can find your radio information up there as well. And so when it comes to the sound systems, 12 speakers is going to come standard, but with any of the package options, whether it be advanced or prestige, you will get a 21 speaker lexicon sound system. That's a lot of speakers, you guys. So having said that, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. I love you. I love that sound system. That is insane. Lexicon crushed it as always. Ton of bass, ton of clarity, plenty of loudness for the size of the GV80. That bass really impressed me. That was an amazing sound system, quite honestly, for the GV80 without a doubt. And so the last thing on the infotainment screen I wanted to mention to you guys is when you do put the GV80 in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming stated across the board. But if you were to go with any of the package options, you're also going to get a surround view monitor giving you that bird's eye view with several different views in addition to that as well, which is always is going to lead us into safety and so to start iihs top safety pick plus which is the very highest designation given by iihs so that pretty much says it all right there front side side curtain airbags do come standard driver's knee airbag as well and an airbag between the two front seats in the case of a t-bone accident let's say so both the driver and passenger don't hit heads or knock into each other that is an airbag that 
I don't think I've ever seen on any other manufacturers out there. So that's a pretty cool idea. I like that. In the back, you're going to have latch, aka lower anchors and tethers to children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard. The more exciting safety features, I guess you could say, would be forward collision avoidance assist, lane keep assist, lane following assist, blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert, safe exit assist, driver attention warning system, adaptive cruise control with stop and go, which is a brilliant system with both Hyundai Genesis and actually Kia as well. Highway driving assist too, which is uh, Genesis is semi-autonomous driving, I guess you could say. Rear occupant alert, blind spot view monitor for the advanced prestige trim levels. And also with those two trims, you're also going to get reverse automatic braking then as well. And so overall, when it comes to my final thoughts, I probably could go on and on about this one because this thing is definitely done well. There's an excellent interior quality, excellent exterior design, the 3D gauges. I would definitely say are my favorite out of all the other manufacturers that I've tested out of the 600 plus cars I reviewed so far. These are my favorite gauges to date. Smart Pack, I absolutely love that feature still. It's something you typically don't find on other manufacturers. I mean, the Tesla Summon thing is probably the coolest, but Smart Pack is pretty darn cool as well. It got some powerful engine options, plenty powerful for the GV80 at least. The only thing I could think of for room for improvement is BMW does this cool thing called gesture control where I can turn up and down the radio by just moving my finger in a clockwise or counterclockwise motion. And they have other gestures as well. I think it'd be pretty cool if Genesis would implement that, maybe. Other than that, this thing is pretty darn freaking good. And so, but that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you wanted to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're in the new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel. After all, I do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.